കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ and pg from bhartiya university and he has a specialization in six publication uh, in similar field and have many presented paper in many international and national conferences <coughs> we welcome you sir to deliver an online session on agro biodiversity welcome you sir you. please start thank the you. session sir thank you thank you so, so you can much, share sir. your uh, ppt sure 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 thank you thank you so much uh, uh, dr arita chauhan and i am thanking dr uh, sarachandra kumar ji for organizing such a good uh, discussions there is no necessity to preach uh, anybody because this is a 2022 no everybody have knowledge but somewhere we are missing some of our original data so that's why we can just make some discussions about agro diversity and have some uh, Uh, experiences uh, to discuss uh, about uh, agro biodiversity so first thing um, <clears throat> can you see this uh, uh, ppt yes sir it is visible okay okay uh, yes so, uh, you can make it full screen sir okay sure okay now it's okay no yeah see agro biodiversity from the beginning itself we know it's we design it's not naturally developed we modify we for our convenience we made some crops which is favorable to me uh, that is uh, made a vast cultivation and some of the areas removed for that pur purpose of uh, cultivation so the influence the human influence is almost 80 to 90 percentage in the agro biodiversity so i designed my agro biodiversity so i am favorable on some of the plants and some of the animals so in that it means there is some cultural influence traditional influence and the indigenous knowledge will be back in the back of agro biodiversity so what is the distinctive features so when you look into this distinct some salient features are there no it is mainly influenced developed by the human being only so it influences it shows everywhere indigenous knowledge and culture and tradition so when you look into the next step some interdependence between countries for this uh, uh, genetic resource why some geographical distribution some of the plants uh, developed in a particular area some nativity for the particular plants now it's changing that is a problem so i want to need i want to have all these crops in my home so that is the problem <laughs> okay so this biodiversity not only in the animal species but also in the plant species make a uh, a good uh, crop or good yield so we know about that uh, sensitivity of the biodiversity due to this agriculture activity so what we did some we made some uh, gene banks ex situ and in situ uh, gene banks to save our uh, native varieties or wild varieties because they are the source and this one you can you can see in the internet also you just compare the original oryza sativa which is kept in uh, china which is originated from that place and the gene which is used the present latest variety the plant is entirely different we can't accept the both plants so difference is that such a difference will be there so there is some interrelationship between the environment genetic resource uh, uh, resources and management practices which will uh, make a, a good agro biodiversity 
So what is the role of biodiversity, agrobiodiversity? First and foremost thing is productivity, food security, and economic returns. So these three things making a lot of issues, <laughs> isn't it? So when it comes to the next point, so all other things are everybody know about those things, it's the natural soil also, but they shall make it. Can you see this point? This, if I am having a very good agrobiodiversity, there is no necessary to spread out from the rural area to the cities or metropolis. And there is no necessary expand my cropping area and never penetrate that. There is no necessary to penetrate in the forest area or wild area to convert into the agriculture farms. And to conserve the ecosystem structure and stability of the species diversity. See, nowadays we are everybody's, when we were sitting in the uh, consultation services, people will come ask this uh, pseudomonas application. Now it's the inbreeder. We are not getting the original quality of this. So that is why the control measure, disease suppression is very less. See, what is the scope? So again, the first most thing is a plant genetic resource. And the interdependent other animal species, fisheries, insect genetic resources, microbial and fungal genetic resources, all these are together making good things. How? So this called, what is the benefit of this? Ecological services. What is the ecological services? That is a nutrient cycle. It is the base for the cropping uh, cultivation uh, processes. Pest and disease regulation, if the agro uh, diversity is good, there is natural pest and is natural suppression be there. Good pollination, we get a good yield and good quality, good nutritional material productivity will be automatically go in higher side. Erosion control, climate regulation, everything will be there. And abiotic factors. When you come to the social, economic and cultural differences, because already I told you that it's man-made, so it will influence, it will show the impact, the traditional and local knowledge will influence the cultivation processes. So, in the first, the second slide, we talk about the, some uh, distributions. Some of the places are specific to the uh, nature. Sir, excuse me, sir. Uh, your slide is not moving, sir. So, excuse. Can you can you see this? Ah, uh, sir, and you can make it full screen. Uh, it is not full screen, sir. Okay, okay. Is it now? The topic is centers of origin of cultivated plants. Isn't yeah, it? topic is there, but the uh, screen is not full, sir. Uh, slide now, sorted is also. Now it's a full screen, no? No, sir. No, I am seeing a uh, full screen. <laughs> Just a minute. Now it's okay, no? No, no, still it is same. Just a minute, I'll go back. Is it okay, no? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, no. Yes, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you continue, so much. Continue, sir. Okay, so. There is some uh, specific identity and the geographic uh, distribution is there. So, when, so the, I, I have highlighted in a red line, look, man started cultivating plants and raising animals and started a city drive. This is the mentality of the human being. So, just to go back to the 13,000 uh, 13, years back, so he, why he doing for, go for uh, agricultural cultivation? So we faced a lot of uh, uh, environmental disasters like flood, what we faced yesterday and today. So my office is now surrounded with water. So, uh, and some, all this is making some uh, threatening points uh, from the natural uh, environment. So that's what he planned. He, he gone for to make some safeguard his life and make food for the food security to his related community. 
and to for that purpose he gone for this type of cultivation and he selected which is convenient to him which is more tasteful to him so those particular crop is going to be enormous under the cropping area and he started to make a save it to preserve it to use it in unfavorable condition maybe rainy season monsoon season he can't do any cultivation or summer season shortage of water he can't do it and maybe he had to take may some flood or something may come so this for this purpose only he started doing a uh, cultivation so and he has after this he got a enormous time to settle down and he diverted his brain to different technologies identify inventing things okay so next is right can you see this uh, a full view of this slide yes sir okay now it's okay running good so south east asia is the familiar place for the vegetative to uh, this uh, agriculture why this is a, we are we are already saying this uh, our country is having very good uh, biological diversity all those things and especially we are mainly bothered about the rhizomes tubers bulbs why it requires minimum pluff, plowing or tillage operations so it will indirectly mean that western culture not influenced our people because after that only our other things came no so is some list is there just to go through it uh, some of the specific crop from specific area during this period it was domesticated it's under control like a cow just tied with a, a rope and we made for our tanins modify it and the next slide this is also is just for the information i incorporated you can get it anywhere in the internet so some distribution then uh, a diagram of uh, the whole uh, world it has some specific area is there this uh, yeah this is babylonian it's a, 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 a scientist made this in 1935 during 1935 it's published a, a document and it has some specific so when you look into our place just go to this number 2 this is rice mango urdu bean jute cardamom black pepper long pepper after that only since the distribution made the people to uh, start trading see i am having rice this guy is not having rice so there is a we exchanged and made the people go into in identifying the money and the transactions and after that what he did if i am paying something i can get this rice here itself and made converted into my convenience to yield more so this is with reference to our country so when you got a western guards no western guards and here's some of the specific thoughts and the even in the fishery section also entirely different the oil sudan is very rich source in the western guards and the people are also mainly using such type of food when we look at the crop distribution and the people and their habit food habit everything some similarity will be there if you make a travel in long distance travel in the bus or train you can easily catch at this point some people this food is right for the this people at this place you can easily can cultivate it and make the mind set up according to that if we change it it will disturb your mind set up so this another diagram so what is the animal genetic uh, diversity why he uh, implemented or accommodated animals in the uh, agro biodiversity so it is a first thing is uh, he needed the uh, animal power for plowing all these operations second thing is a transport and third is it's a stand by income if it is an season maybe or any monsoon season he can't he can't do any cultivation in, in that time he can get the uh outputs for the food or even revenue from the uh, poultry or these animals okay and majority of the farmers depending on this uh, about 70% poor farmer uh, farmers are depending on this uh, section say so, agro data in food security see we are raising after this uh, green revolution we developed we did a lot of things we achieved more yield but even though the population those people are uh, facing a uh, scarcity of food or in the poverty pulled into the power poverty malnourished people the population is very high and even in the 2050 we are having a, a number that is 60% of the world population are already malnourished again they are going to add with this 
we can't do this <laughs> we have to blink it <laughs> isn't it so again what we do we will try to extract more from the soil we'll make try to extract more from the plant so what is the next option we have to depend on the external inputs like more fertilizers more external uh, flowering uh, hormones or yield uh, increasing yield potential uh, of the crop this will make a uh, lead to the infertile lands or uh, lands lose their productivity so more than 92 million hungry people are there so many negative uh, data are there <laughs> local properties the main problem is local property varieties are avoided this you can see in the a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, examples so uh, i will put an example i will take to one or two minutes uh, for to show this uh, my practical evidence which i faced in my lifetime see and coconut farming is uh, very popular in uh, uh, coimbatore district tamil nadu state okay in the uh, two decades there was a very good section in the agriculture activities so there is no waste whatever you are in, uh, investing get the everything in the place itself so this made uh, how it is managed from the field so day by day it is going out from the field see the farmers Well, the landlords uh, mind the farm workers, so there is some relationship with the um, the worker with the coconut farm. So uh, you can skip out a two, a three, a one or two fertilizer application, but the crop cleaning operation is very very important. We can implement some machines all this, but even though the performance made by the worker is very very important. We thought that we can't achieve that much yield. Uh, benchmark is 80 nuts per annum per plant is the normal. Nowadays, 40 is somewhat big achievement. So the problem is that particular farmer work worker community is vanished due to the mining operation of these landlords. They destroyed the families. they forced to do they extracted what they did they find it alternative ways they developed their generations a new field they gone out second thing they can't get the original food what they like what they used traditionally especially uh, that finger millet and pearl millet that is the main source of uh, food for the workers and uh, this rice won't uh, support you to climb this much of high it's not possible so that is the importance so local avoidance of local varieties make the even the direct effect the particular community human communities and the next slide is intensification so more intensification see we need more yield no the ultimate aim is we want to have more we want to get more yield from a particular area so automatically we are, we are checking the internet and finding out some of the source from the western things like uh, operation tillage operations even now i am here in uh, in uh, the ernakulam uh, district is uh, very famous for pineapple cultivation especially mauritius sergi people are using jcb for tillage operation i can't believe it so so much of well advanced no <laughs> okay. so that is uh, such type of a cropping is going on and we increase the monoculture mainly depending on the external uh, inputs like chemical fertilizers and pesticides this will destroy the agriculture biodiversity so <clears throat> under developed crops i will show you another one thing uh, which is published in the just uh, 2014 a paper published by a, a scientist uh, Uh, can you see this uh, journal this is under utilized food crop structure for the future india it's uh, written by uh, presented by the ponika tapu so she listed a lot of uh, crops and their family common names usages and a lot of and she is mentioning about the uh, society or the community the people who used this type of crops so this is vanishing out from the uh, uh, cultivation uh, Uh, agriculture field
So important. Oh. <clears throat> so importance of this uh, annual species or my plant species. They are the main source of uh, food supply. Ultimately, they are su uh, supporting the food. We are having, we are doing only five thousand plants uh, under cultivation, and the remaining population is a huge quantity of uh, plant species are waiting for it. Why we are avoiding those crops? That is another one aspect. We are mainly targeting or using, or we are making our convenience for cooking as well as the taste. Taste is the first and foremost thing. That is what we are avoiding. See, instead of rice, just to go back to the pearl mill, it is difficult to uh, come back. But the nutrient quality and the, it is better for the, so nowadays the uh, diabetic is a very common, like a cold. Uh, it is very common to uh, in the uh, in especially Indian population. But the workers, what I told in the beginning itself, uh, the workers who worked uh, in the farms, they used this pearl millet. They make the pearl millet in a ball-like structure. I put it in the different box and add some buttermilk and take a, a chili. This is their food. But with that, they are doing paka work. No, now it's no. We can't believe that. That is why some of the crops are vanishing from the field, like uh, groundnut cultivation in Kollachi uh, Taluk in Coimbatore district, Tamil Nadu. It's vanished. So such a type of things are uh, we are based on the uh, taste and convenience we are avoiding. So what is agrobiodiversity and the livelihood of the farmers? So again, the first word we are writing it's a very good ornament, no farmers, no food, no future. Okay, everybody knows it. You are also knowing everybody else. But that is the next step. What is the solution? How we uh, try to solve these type of things? So that is the, so the small farmers are some way they are running because of the production based level. They invest something, get something, just run their life, that's all. There is no saving. They can't do any further action. They can't expand the cropping area. They can't diverse their crops. So the relationship with the farming community and the people and their livelihood and the nutritional health benefits is just things that you can't, there is, it is not a unidirectional, it's a multidirectional diagram. If you touch anywhere, it will boot out. So they say if it's agriculture, livelihood, income, employment, food security, gender equity, dietary diversity. On the other hand, that when what is the nutritional benefits, strength, endurance, cognition, risk taking, productivity. If I am not keeping well, then everything is gone. No. So I am skipping this slide again. The same thing is uh, described here. So what is the ecosystem service? What are the ecosystem we are getting from this uh, agro biodiversity? We are getting about uh, twenty four goods and service. Just to go to the tiger, that's it will self-explanatory. So basically, three different services. One is supporting service, first one is supporting service, regulating service, and provisioning service. We are above this. And we are governing from here itself. So we need a crop yield. For that, we are doing this, making this uh, agri agriculture activities. So this supporting service, the soil structure and nutrient regulation, disease suppression. Pollination, water regulation, erosion, fault resistance, and ultimately it will be a good crop with a good, good nutritional quality without any chemical residue. That is very, very important nowadays. <laughs> so again, the same thing. So there is one uh, a YouTube link I have, uh, pro I have provided. So just to go through it, this will uh, give the, the genetically engineered the BT maize without chemical treatment. So there is a, one scientist made some videos, it's a good thing. You just go through it, it will make uh, some, something to see this. So what is agrobiotics and the relation to climate change? See, what I fell in the first slide, it's on the produce, it's man-made ecosystem. So the problems in everywhere. It will rise temperature, to after alter the precipitation pattern, rise of sea level, insulation extreme weather events, greenhouse gases. So when we go to the precipitation patterns, just what we experience, just now, past three days in my place uh, where I am sitting, no, just the past three days, there is no uh, non-stop rain. There is no gap. Only just the past two hours only, there is some gap. 
we are praying for this everything is filled with water the rain the water unable to run and enter into the ocean everything is filled so that is the pattern no so it will be maintained with the mitigation and adaptation method okay so it's a clear picture there is no word to explain this we extracted everything we lifted nothing is there no including all other animals no so adaptation is that so plants animals have some capacity to adjust to the changes such as heat drought or salinity so that is it is a little bit difficult only the margin people is uh, trying to do it and we can use uh, research varieties in such a case i can give an ex example and kerala is very familiar with the pokali cultivation see it's a one crop one only one crop paddy and along with that next season they will do a prawn cultivation and this crop is it's a wild variety and it is a salin tolerant and it is convenient to cultivation it is 100% there is no fertilizer nothing is just to put seed it and transplant it that's all after this period the shutters because the lands are low laying below the sea level so during uh, high tide period they will remove the seeds and get the fingerlings of these plants enter into the farm and close again close to the shutter and they will cultivate that is standby but what is the income when we look at that is i will come to the next uh, portion <laughs> so agrabed is city uh, so the, it supports a 2.5 billion uh, and make a 29 percent of gdp and 60 percent of is from agriculture so it reflects in uh, agribusiness and uh, ecosystem reflects the interaction between the people and the environment and available diversity and the last two line is very uh, pathetic situation everybody knows it but even to why it is not uh, there is no step for this it's difficult it is difficult because we came to up to 85 to 90 percentage now that is why uh, we are facing flood or drought or other environmental disasters increasing importance of traditional cover they has the capacity they are drought tolerant they are saline tolerant they are highly nutritive what i told you that the pokali rice it's the best medicine for the diabetic patient it has high nutrient content so next is what i saw uh, inform you shrinking biodiversity so shrinking biodiversity everybody is experiencing uh, this uh, phenomenon Uh, what is the causes so the loss of agrobiodiversity reduction of diversity is woven into every single strand of crops that makes the food and that possible see <clears throat> what we all eat now the same type and the same amount this we are hearing in every day in our dining table no <laughs> the rate of global proportion has increased faster than the rate of global population growth but even the why we are not getting we are not sufficient this is the problem habitat lost deforestation overgrazing and such a farming population boom global warming for that i will give you an example say when i am waiting for the consultation says a ginger cultivation a farmer for uh, doing uh, ginger cultivation in palakkad district kerala it's a apt place for ginger cultivation he is doing 100 acres uh, ginger cultivation so massive uh cultivation no so he is approaching me so what we do for uh, next application i said what you did so he give all the details what already practiced in the form so in that section i noticed one chemical that is metalaxyl it is a very good chemical it is a pattern of some pro uh, product it is used it is recommended as a point to percentage if a critical situation then you have to offer such type of chemical the farmer is using 0.5 percentage he is applying this material it is for air meant for aerial application he is mixing and pouring on the soil so when i asked why do you are exceeding this much of dose the next reply is i was shocked he said sir i am paying least i have to pay least amount 
I have to get yield. And the final statement is beyond that level. He said, I'm not going to take this ginger as food. There's no wait for this reply. I just kept quiet. I was shocked. It's in my experience, this is a 40, 46 years. I was, this is the first experience. So if everybody is thinking about this, then there is no world, no, there is no animal <laughs> on earth. So some uh, details, it is collected with this uh, pandemic period. So this pandemic made a lot of uh, uh, people pushed into uh, poverty and uh, homeless uh, people are there. So about this, uh, some data from so far estimates about 1 billion people would join due to this COVID uh, situation. So we are producing 11 billion tons of food a year. Even though it's not satisfying the people, it's not reaching everybody. The marginal peoples are pushed out. The key, what is the key for uh, diversification? Input resources, production, markets, and supply, supply chains as well as actors. So everybody has to bother about ourselves as well as the society. Then only the problem, the problem, the society will sustain. Uh, this is the next diagram to showing a, a clear picture of 21st century challenge shrinking biodiversity. We are having limited number of crops. We are having limited uh, pro uh, productive area. How will we meet this, uh, this much of uh, uh, remaining population? So. <clears throat> the hungriest people are the smallholder farmers. It's true. The reduction in body supply is an increasing vulnerable position where warming temperatures, single twist or disease could severely compromise what we grow, raise, and eat. So nowadays, especially this uh, army whim or uh, Heliotis arpivaja, this is uh, tough to control with uh, uh, available pesticides. And the available uh, pesticides are too much costlier. The ordinary man or ordinary farmer or smallholder can't bear the chemical. For example, I can put a, a name of the chemical as chemicals is profile. It is meant, meant for the fungi, it is a good fungicide, it's a green label. So it is safe to the environment, but the product cost is 3,000 rupees per kg. How do you bear it? And beyond that, the labor cost. So all these things make uh, affects the smallholders or the marginal farmers. So causes and factors and impacts, everybody knows there is no necessary to teach you environmental pollution, deforestation, overgrazing, global warming, climate change, desertification, ocean depletion, natural disaster. So that is the majority of the uh, cultivable area is converted into re, uh, real estates <laughs> and made into form of some concrete structures. So on the other hand, we can't oppose the people to construct a house, no? Few cooperatives are cultivated in monocultures, a limited number of domestic animal breeds or fish are used. More uniform, less diverse, but more competitive global market. That is the ultimate reason of all these aspects. <clears throat> Changes in farmers, perceptions, preference and living conditions, a marginalization of small scale, diverse food production systems that accounts of farmers, varieties, diversification, uh, replacement of local varieties by improved and exotic varieties and species. And the number of varieties is reduced when commercial varieties are introduced into traditional farming system. This is mainly influenced by the Western companies. See, nobody is using a PKM variety. It's a very good tomato variety in, uh, introduced by Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Nobody is willing. The farmer is not uh, liking such type of seeds. They are simply purchasing the companies, forcing this, this is better, this is better. And finally, they are facing a lot of issues. 
this is the problem. Pattern of agrobiodiversity such as false. Only KT crops actually feed the world. <laughs> A minimum, we again isolated. So provide with a global plan derived energy intake at this much of calories and proteins. And more than I said, we are mainly using this uh, avoided or neglected where it is like uh, finger minute or pearl meter. When the doctor prescribes something, say after diabetic or some is aging, 40 years after 40 years or 50 years, when you go into the hospital, then will they, then will they bother them. Even though nobody is willing to go for direct purchase of a pearl minute also, they are simply instead of ragging malt and mixing into the crystal drinking. <laughs> it won't safeguard you. <laughs> So it's a higher level of genetic diversity uh, and we have to focus on most conservation efforts that should be made and uh, reason for declining uh, biodiversity, globalization of the food system and intensive international marketing. That is a problem. So we made it, we can't avoid it. <laughs> At the same time, we can't say no to this. Uh, it's, uh, it's made, it's uh, drag us to up to this level. Integration of uh, livestock in the uh, agriculture production. So instead of that, uh, tractors, like uh, what I told you, no, JCBs are running. So development of a monocrop aquatic production. You know, that is also, now, uh, when, when I, I already told you an example of focalization, it's vanishing out. Nobody is willing to, because here the farmer may get uh, 25 to 50,000 rupees per hectare for this, uh, one year, but the product is selling in the uh, online platform, it's 180 rupees per kg. <laughs> so that is the people are shifting to some others. He has to maintain his family. He has to get his basic needs, maintain, meet up the main, uh, basic needs, no? So the modern machinery and programs allow rapid changes to the farm environment over huge areas to endorse a high input Standard factory landscape for the previous statistics regional features are is having abundant. So threats to the animal generation, some of the uh, um, uh, local or the traditional varieties like what we avoided in the uh, crops or plants, similarities happen in the livestock. So reduced survival, they lose, they reduce survival and fitness and they are uh, changed their uh, character roles while shifting their the animals, especially the wild, are shifting their range, altering their phenology, changes, population dynamics, everything is changed. High yielding animals could not be used to sustainably. For example, I can put in a, another one example. Say, for central cultivation in Coimbatore area, maybe two decades before, while I uh, was doing my during my PhD period, I heard that. The farmers to control this worms, the pest, they sprinkle puffed rice on the field summer. So it is attracted, the crows may be attracted towards this puffed rice and find out this pest. So it's eaten. So the natural control is there. Now everything is vanished. No, now crows, if you put some puffed rice on the plants, uh, uh, crow may love you. So that's because he is uh, eating some other thing. No. We changed, we not only change ourselves, but also we compelled and changed the other components around us. So the effects of agriculture on agrobiodiversity. So again, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit uh, uh, problematic base. Say agriculture is the base, it is the largest industry, what we told, already told you, it's increasing the population, see. And the next slide. This is the natural structure. It's the original uh, photograph of what uh, I took during, I think, 2007, 2000, when I was in the tea research institute, I took this uh, photograph. Now it's a, a big corporate is standing there. Now this is the situation. After four years, during, I think, probably nearly 2010 or 2014, this is the situation. See this difference. House, a lot of pages, a lot of plants. We can't measure it. Now this is changing itself. This is also plant. See, if you discuss with those, those plants, we just change the plant only. Even if it is green, we share the change the shape. It's a shrub and make it for our tennis to make more plucking points to get more yield. 
so that more yield more economy economical benefit is the ultimate reason for everything to make us to or uh, to approach to this type of things see so it's a it's a, a machine harvesting piece like a china machine it's imported from japan and it is used to uh, harvest such a person so is for a picnic it's good when it come to the actual or the secure life security <laughs> it's it's the different even these places are passed uh, last week i heard you know some of the places in these houses vanished due to the flood so fx annual perennial crops soil cultivation crop rotation water management fertilizers manure and this are major causes of uh, water pollution so gaps in knowledge about agro biodiversity and its depletion i will put an example for this see the uh, pineapple is mauritius where it is very familiar in what i have told you in erna it is familiar in erna erna this thing here about 24000 hectares under this cultivation the kerala agri university and ic are recommended a dosage of fertilizer is 848 that is 8 g of nitrogen 4 g of phosphorus and 8 g of nitrogen for one crop for one plant is sufficient so just to convert it this will provide a 1.5 to 1.7 kilo of pineapple after 8 months so if this is a standard so just to convert it may I take my calculator so just to check it So this is reference. No? So I'm uh, stopping my sharing. Uh, <clears throat> so for getting eight gram of nitrogen, is, is, this plant is where uh, the, when we look into this history of this plant, it is a poor fertilizer loving plant. It is initially it is a ten thousand years before it is used as a fence to protect ourselves to protect our farms. it is because it is having a, a lot of thorns no you can't jump into that you can't cross it it's not possible on the other hand you get a pineapple every 8 months from this plant so that is the for that purpose. but people for the economic middle change into like this type of it's made a, a, a domesticated so for getting 8 g of nitrogen it is urea we need only 17.36 g of urea okay for one crop it should be applied in three split for getting 4 g of phosphorus we need a rock phosphorus natural sources mined uh, material it is 22 g per plant for single application for one year for for one crop and for getting 8 g of uh, potash we need only 13.28 g so as per recommendation of uh, icr or kerala agriculture university 8000 crops can adopt accommodate in an acre for 4048 square meters okay for 8000 plants just to convert it we need 140 kilo of urea 170 kilo of rock phosphate and 106 kilo you put as 100 kilo of potash this should be applied according to the variety according to your soil or type of cultivation so while planting itself this 22 g or that or 176 kilo of rock phosphate is going that time it's up how to apply it so that will retain for maintain the uh, phosphorus supplement up to the end of the crop for one year the remaining per, uh, portion of uh, urea and potassium split into two or three uh, application That is 46 kilo of uh, urea plus 35 kilo of potash per application, by uh, by monthly application. That is sufficient. This will give 1.5 to 1.7 kilo of uh, uh, pineapple from one plant, one for one crop. So 1.5 means into uh, 8,000 plants. That's a 12 tons of crop from one acre. to this standard for getting more income more economical benefit i changed this thing it is instead of 8000 plants i am planting 11000 plants and uh, in, if i am applying this but let's say it won't respond so what i did as per uh, human brain no this is 1600 cc brain so it thought about so i have to apply more but let's say more see he doubled or tripled but he do he further to think about the womb is one the mother is one the soil is one 
So 4048 square meter of soil having this laterite soil having this much of uh, microbes do the role to convert this fertilizer into the available form or the nutrient form which is convenient for the plant. So there is what will happen? The remaining portion is washed away and enter into the water. Now it's a flood. No, everything reached away in the Arabian Sea. So automatically, oil, uh, certain, uh, certain uh, uh, population go down. This is the problem. That is the gap. What I told you, you know, this gap. This we have to digest. We have to consume it. Everybody, agriculture offices are doing things, and communication is the government communication is They're doing that everywhere. But uh, practical implementation is very, very important. We should bother. Everybody should bother about things. Otherwise, no other way to skip out. Otherwise, we will lose our community, we lose ourselves. So, the ultimate thing, the sustainability should come, start from person, ourselves. We should make role model. We should start, start from family. It should start from home. They need to come to the street, then nation, then there is no. If so, there is no war, sir. There is no necessary for having a military. There is no necessary policy. Everybody is in the right direction. No. So how fruitful, no? But it won't happen. <laughs> it's my villain wish to have such a situation to see it. But it is difficult to see that. So anyway, in the last, uh, last page, I have um, I added some of the... So not this. Some of the references I have not I collected from the internet and my library is incorporated here. And at this point, I have to thank, it's my duty to do that. I have to thank Dr. Shachandra Kumanji for doing such a good things. So there is no necessary to explain about him. He's a, a student of uh, Dr. The, uh, Evergreen scientist, Dr. 